Mickey's Not So Scary was kind of a hot mess this year. Disney's coming after Universal with their own little boo. Did it look like sewage? Yeah. What, what the heck? Guys, it is the moment we've all been waiting for. It is the Halloween special for Mickey's Not So Scary at Magic Kingdom. I also want to do a couple's costume this year. And you know what? Let's show you the costume. Let's do a cool transition. Okay, you know what? We're gonna do that transition which all like the thirst trap TikTok girls do. You ready? <laughs> We're, 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 we're Mike Wazowski. Matuzik is my favorite Pixar film. Allison is going as Mike's girlfriend, Celia. <laughs> Pretty spot on. Now, Allison looks great. I went to Joanne's, got a little uh, googly eye, and these are like Chucky's glasses that I got from San Diego Comic-Con. Little pipe cleaners for her little eyelash. I look ridiculous, but hey, don't worry, because if I get too hot, we're dressed up as an ogre boy. Now it's time to go to Magic Kingdom. Right, we've just gotten to the TTC. They have a cute little photo up here with pumpkins, and it says, let's boo this. Mickey's not so scary. Okay, we are here. We've made it to the Magic Kingdom. Not so scary is one of my favorite after hours events. It's honestly the only one that's really worth it here in Disney World. We're gonna show you guys everything. The tips and tricks, what to eat, how to be the most efficient, save time. We're gonna show you some really cool costumes, the stage shows, the fireworks. Uh, you can get into the park at 4 p.m. with your after hours ticket. So you kind of get to experience a couple hours, and then at seven o'clock is when the party start. And then it goes till I believe midnight. I love Halloween! Even though it's August? Yep! And they've added all these pumpkins out, and they have kind of a chunkier pumpkin over here. So, standard guests will enter over here, not so scary guests will enter over to the right. Three. Emily, yeah. what's the name of your bat? You're the first bat. I'm from Canada, and yeah. our favorite treats in Canada are Timbits, so he's called Tim Bat. Alright, so you check in, they give you a park ticket, and now it's time to get the wristband. Your paperwork, Mike Wazowski! <laughs> we have to ask you, what's the name of your bat? Echo. Okay. For Echo Location. Each cast member, it's kind of, they name each one of their bats with kind of a creative name. So it's one of those fun little things that a lot of people don't know about. Whenever you see a cast member, ask the name of their bat and they'll give you a fun little like parody bat name. We got the map. I'm digging the design this year. It's, uh, it's kind of like the vibe this year of this like retro kind of 50s and 60s Halloween. Cute little ghost. Shows pictures, which I like. Doesn't give you exactly which characters are meeting green, but it kind of shows where they are, where the little bats are. All right, first thing we're gonna do is go to the Emporium, see the new merchandise. I see a giant line. That might be a line to get in. Oh god. Okay, the Emporium line goes all the way down Main Street and goes to right here. Now, the first thing you want to do, you're going to go off to the right. Now, they actually have a sign up, which I actually like. This way to Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. Before, you just kind of like tried to figure out where you were going. You guys look great. Oh, thank you. All right, Anger, what makes you most angry right now? The heat. The heat? <laughs> <laughs> How did you catch Perry the Platypus? Took her on a nice date. Okay. <laughs> That was a secret all along. The first little treat trail, they have all these statues, right? They're all Halloween themed. So you have Musketeer Donald right there. Now during the nighttime, the pumpkin will light up and it's a daisy on the pumpkin. And then we have a Jester Goofy right here. Do you want a handstand? Then we have Musketeer Pluto. Then we have Princess Minnie. And inside of her pumpkin is a little hit of Mickey right there. All right, Helen, what is the name of your bat? Betsy. Batsy? Yeah. I like it. I like the bag that they handed up this year. Mickey's not so scary. Let's do this. Tell me there's a giant advertisement for like an upcoming Disney Plus thing, but there's not. So you can actually like use this bag and not feel like a giant advertisement board. Are you up for the challenge? You got this? You want me to throw it in? Yeah. Wait, I'm already though. I'll try with my Okay. Oh! Finally some good candy. They're crunchy cookie M&Ms. And I feel at home with this uh, sign with my round green people. Now right next to the hub they have this cool little photo op. The Legend of Sleepy Hollow. Beware. Take care. He rides alone. This is almost like Disneyland quality like photo ops. Before they would just kind of put up like a crappy banner but this is like an actual really cool photo op. Literally dying. I, it feels like 100 degrees. The hardest part about having a costume for Not So Scary it's got to be functional right where you can navigate the park but also you know be kind of Disney. Um, I would suggest going to the hub first taking your photos because once the party starts you're not going to have enough time to take photos you think you are but you're not because there's gonna be so much to do so come to the hub first thing take your photo uh, there's no mobile ordering right now so we have to wait in line at casey's corner to try the little treat now i don't know what's grosser the paper straw or the look of this drink this thing looks like what monsters poop it just looks so revolting oh, i'm doing this for you guys okay casey's corner is selling this this is available during regular park hours and not so scary most of the stuff you can get during normal hours there's only like four things you can only get at not so scary which i didn't realize until today so it's going to be winifred's elixir of youth a black tea slushy with kiwi foam and winifred chocolate piece 
Yeah. This looks very interesting. Okay, let's let's go in. <laughs> Get a kind of a sour kick from the kiwi. The foam just looks. We know what's happening tomorrow. Oh, would you just go in for the foam? I love it. You should do more. I love to cook more. Foam is very sour. Oh my God! Look what just happened. I'm sorry. You have to look at this the rest of the night. Oh no, Peter. Look at my mouth. Oh no. Y'all are gonna be looking like that the whole time. How long did it take to get the drinks? How's the efficiency here at Walt Disney World? At least 30 minutes. Well, to tell you this, Kevin, they basically, there's a slushy machine and they just pour it out of the slushy machine. That took 30 minutes. Welcome to a park run by college kids. I didn't hate it. Did it look like sewage? Yes. Didn't taste like sewage. 8.5, it's kind of sweet. It's a nice, chill, refreshing drink on a hot day like this. The only bad thing is kind of the look in the, or after sludge on your mouth. 8.5, all right, let's uh, venture off and see what else is going on for Not So Scary. Yo, boo! Nikki's not so scary. Halloween party has begun. All right, now I talked to PhotoPass back there. Now with Oogie Boogie Bash in Disneyland, the, the photos that are taken, the special Halloween photos, are included with your ticket. You get free photos. Here at Disneyland, they said you have to buy a memory maker, which is what, eighty, ninety dollars, to get the photos that they take of you tonight. If you're thinking you're gonna get free photos, you're not. And everybody's lining up for the characters. There's a line over here. This is Jafar over here. I would say the wait is probably 45 minutes, maybe an hour. They didn't really add any new characters this year. I think Mickey got his new Halloween costume, and that's literally it. There was no specialty characters that were brought in. It'll take an hour or two, sometimes even three, to meet a character here. I liked how Disneyland did it, where the tree trail was the character meet and greet. So you kind of like walk by them, got a photo if you needed it. These character meet and greets take forever. So if that's what you're into, you know, you're gonna have to spend all night just waiting in line. All right, since it's past seven o'clock, tree trails have started. We're gonna go to the Enchanted Tiki Room. What's the name of your bat right now? Um, it is is Neil Badger Harris. Neil Badger Harris. Uh-oh, looks like the treat trail has uh, deflated. Somebody help it get up. That's amazing. All right, Allison, what, what's the joke? This is uh, the Enchanted Tiki Room, and they decorated for Halloween. That's bamboo. Oh. <laughs> Brand, happy Halloween. What's the name of your bat? My bat? Yeah. I named it B-Bat. B-Bat? Yeah, and then you can just use whatever imagination you have to figure out what the B stands for. We got a couple pieces of candy. It was about like a 15 minute wait. That's all you get? Yeah. You wait in that line and you get one person giving you candy? Yeah. It's at, not Disneyland. At Oogie Boogie, you go in one line and there's like eight stations of people giving you candy. Welcome to Orlando. They have Jack Sparrow out being But can you eat Jack Sparrow during the uh, normal park hours? Uh, we're gonna do the special overlay for Pirates. It's currently a 40 minute wait. Uh, they do have an actor in the queue kind of interacting and talking to people right there. No, I'm not weird. I'm not weird. I don't know who he is. I've never met him before. Well. Alright, guys, she's not cooking. I'll make it 60-40 if you bring it back to me, alright? Yay! We will, we will. Don't worry. Hey! Hey! Alright, what is the name of your bat? I did it. More of like a Carter, kind of like my son. Okay, Carter. okay. Carter, name my bat after my son. Alright, well, the overlay was one actor in the queue, then three actors in the ride. Uh, the one next to the Barbosa ship had no light on them. They were just screaming, I'm not Will, I'm not Will, I'm not Will. You can see on the footage, there is no light on them. They're just off in the distance. I could barely see them. And then there were the two actors above the little bridge. They were fine. It's kind of hard to hear them. I feel like they need to put extra speaker systems in there, turn it up. But it's not a life-changing overlay, but it's something different. All right, now, Kitcher, how many pieces of candy did you get? I think I got five that time. Ooh. So I think I got like maybe eight total. Ooh. All right, well, I was super excited. They have a Time Bahama Jungle Cruise um, shirt, but it's $150, but they only have smalls. So, all right, time to get some food. Uh, we're gonna go to the Golden Oak Outpost. This is where we're going, Golden Oak Outpost. Happy Halloween. The treat that we got is this spellbinding fried pie. It'll be buffalo chicken, mozzarella, blue cheese wrapped in flaky dough, wrapped with candy eye and jalapeno ranch aioli. We're gonna try it with the eyeball and everything. Ah, oh, hot, oh God, so hot. All right, straight out of the fryer. The deep fried eyeball book thing. I love it. You get this kind of like a tender buffalo chicken in there and the outside pastry is perfectly cooked. It's nice and crispy. It's like a nine out of 10. All right, we're going to Pecos Bills. There's a special treat that's only here and not so scary. Apparently it looks like corn. And then we also got the almond sweet corn cake. Almond sweet corn cake drizzled with icing topped with candy corn. Okay, will it cake? Will this corn cake? It looks like a piece of corn, which I think is cool, but we'll see. I like the frosting. Yeah, it's very moist, dense, dense cake. That's pretty good. It just tastes kind of like a really dense vanilla cake. Yeah, that's an eight out of 10 right there. That's some good stuff. I'm surprised 
by these treats. Normally these like special event treats are not very good, but I've quite enjoyed all of them. The cast members have the box set up. Yeah. Woo! Oh my gosh, it's like a little spooky tree with candy corn. Yes, normally it's a spider one, but I went different this year. I love it. Oh, thank you it's so much. It's a work much. of art. I can't find Doug, I can't find Kevin, I can't find Russell, and my wife left me. Uh, they put a little projection on this roof outside. It kind of looks like a pig, right? The eyes and the window makes a nose. Uh, we're at the Haunted Mansion. Normally there would be uh, characters, like every performers out here, interacting with you, but I don't see the little bench that would be there, so I don't even think they have them this year. So we found out the performers are no longer out on the line. They said they're in the line. All right, Peter Pan is a 35 minute wait, so it's a shorter wait. They do have a little activity over here for the kids where they can throw little pumpkins in the little pumpkin buckets. It's like a little game. All right, here's another meet and greet. The line goes all the way back there and it goes, wraps all the way around here. Again, this is probably like an hour and a half wait. And you can meet Ariel and Eric. So Ariel's Grotto has been closed. They have yet to bring back the meet and greet, but they've turned into a treat trail. So let's go see how it looks. There we go into Ariel's Grotto. What's the name of your bat? My bat's in Maggie. All right, so you don't even get to like go into where the grotto was abandoned. You just kind of like go through the queue. Now right, we're heading into the circus area now. There's a dance party back here, I think. All right, so kind of dance party meet and greet. There's Simone right there, and then uh, Fancy Nancy's back there just kind of dancing. Okay, I think it's time for another. I checked the weather. Zero percent chance precipitation. It's currently raining. It's going to be a soaked Mike Wazowski. They have an overlay for the Manti party. It's just kind of like a different light package, I believe. Oh, it's raining pretty hard now. We're heading in where normally sunny eclipses. They got the zombies dance party. Oh, what is up, everyone? How you doing? Hey, back That was like one of the most lit dance parties I think they've ever put on. It was cute. Right? <laughs> they used a lot of the same choreography from the movie. You know, they have the aliens and the werewolves. If you're a little kid, you're having so much fun in that little dance party. So, and it, you're not outside. You don't have to deal with the rain. Right, we're gonna head into Stitch's Great Escape. Well, they've taken down all the signage, but they have a special photo up in here. It's so weird, this attraction's been closed for so long. Now they used to have like a Stitch meet and greet. That's a little Mr. Toad. Little photo op. You got the devil, Mr. Toad's wild ride. Beware. All right, now they do have a photo op of Sally and Mike. I really enjoy these little photo ops. All the art that they did. They all have like the 50th. So it looks like there's a little bed, a little Pixar ball. So we have Allison set up right here. Yeah. This? Now you're like leaning up against What was there. I doing? <laughs> Nothing, I just love you. You look like with your glasses like an old lady just like sitting back like. <laughs> I gotta take my Disney photo. All right, it's time to go off to the MILF, the Monsters Inc. Laugh Floor. Oh, I found my dressing room. This is the Inhuman Resources. But down here they have the maintenance closet. Mike Wazowski's dressing room. I love little details like that. I like that it's like falling off too. All right, we gotta ask, what is your guys' bat's name? Oh, Draculaura. Draculaura? Zach. Zach? Yeah. Right, well, I was gonna wait to be roasted, but uh, it is a packed house. I don't think I've ever seen it a packed house in here. So the special overlay is just kind of the background that the monster's talking. It's kind of got some eyeballs and candy and everything. They just went off stage. There's a little monster. Oh, there's Roz. We just got the rundown. First booty you parade just got canceled because of the rain. I think everything might get canceled because it is a downpour right now. But it doesn't matter because I'm I'm here with a special someone right there. 
This little googly bear. What? All right, we just hopped in the Merchants of Venus. We got some time to kill because it's raining. We'll show up to do Halloween merchandise. $50, they have these sweatpants. $20, they have this little Mickey pumpkin. I guess you put a candle in it. Uh, it looks like Disney's com coming after Universal with their own little boo. Uh, there's no price on this, but they have one of those soap dispensers that makes a Mickey. It's got that new little design. This just says orange, so I don't know the exact price, but little Mickey pumpkins and little boos that light up. And then this shirt, I really want. I'm digging this design. You're looking at $60 for this, but I love everything about this shirt. Then they have this hoodie. You're looking at $70 for this hoodie. Then they have a countdown to Halloween. We have some little ghosties. Mickey's inside of a pumpkin with Minnie. You're looking at $55. I like the design on the back. Then they have a new little Mickey pumpkin hat. You're looking at $35 for this hat. And then down here is a t-shirt. You're looking at look at $37 for this shirt. It's like a woman's cut t-shirt though. For $30, they have this woman's cut cute little shirt. Nice purple. And for $30, they have a Mickey pumpkin bubble wand. And then down here for $25, this almost looks like a little kid shirt. I love all this merchandise. For $20, they have a, a little boo onesie. For $7, they have some caramel spooky popcorn. $25, they have a Mickey pumpkin. This thing lights up to go trick-or-treating with. That's really cute. So this looks like a, a giant Cheeto, but it's got Mickey right there. And on the back it says Walt Disney World. But you're looking at $50 for the spirit jersey. They do have a new Hocus Pocus spirit jersey. Tonight we fly. And I actually like the uh, cartoon design of them. It feels very like 90s, something you'd see on like an animated TV show if it was Hocus Pocus. And then this is the shot of how the spirit jersey looks on the front. Uh, but the price is gonna be a mystery. I'm guessing you have to cast a spell to find out what the price is. Trouble is brewing. The Sanderson sisters are on this little tumbler. You're looking at $35. It's very iridescent. And for $35, they have that same cartoon design of the Sanderson sisters. It's like a little cauldron. You can put your candy in. And on the back it says, Trouble is brewing. Here's everybody in a plush form. It looks like they're uh, being cooked to death or boiled to death inside of a cauldron. You're looking at $40 and there's all the little Sanderson sisters. Weird that they're in a uh, cauldron. So it's Hocus Pocus on the front. All right, we're venturing off into the hub now. Hopefully the fireworks show does not get canceled. Our have southern weather has delayed our not-so-spooky spectacular. We thank you for your understanding and do hope to begin as soon as possible. Once again, our yes. presentation of Disney's not so spooky spectacular has been delayed. All right, well, Fireworks Show just got delayed, so they have to launch them eventually. All right, their cast members squeegeeing off the stage, probably for the Jack puppet to come out. Yes, yes. Oh my God! Again, this is his mating dance, trying to attract the Kitra to where we are, waiting in the hub. <laughs> what, what? What the heck? Come on! Come on! Come on! <sighs> oh, there we go. Greetings, trick or treaters! In mere minutes, our not so spooky spectacular will manifest before you in a blaze of ghoulish delight. In order for you to fully experience tonight's presentation, the lighting around Magic Kingdom will be reduced. For your own safety and the safety of those around you, we ask that you remain in the same location until the lighting returns to normal. And be sure to keep an eye out. After all, you never know what fun may happen on Halloween. <laughs> Disney's not so spooky spectacular begins in just a few minutes. She said keep an eye out. <laughs> the story that you are about to be told is one for both the young and the old. Unlike anything you've ever seen, get ready for this is all It's wonderful to have you here. For I, Jack Skellington, have a tale to tell. Oh, Mickey, I just love trick or treating. All the costumes. And the candy. The building. Oh, boy. This is going to be fun. Scary? Well, maybe more not so scary, Donald. Let's go.
Who do you? Hopefully it happens because that's the whole reason, honestly, you come to Not So Scary's for the Booty You Parade. So we're gonna kind of camp out outside of Starbucks. Hopefully it happens. So it starts off in Frontierland, right? So it takes about a half an hour to get to Main Street. But the Headless Horseman comes out first, and about 10 minutes later, then the parade should be getting here. Still need that perfect All right, so that was the big new thing. Max, he's dressed up as power line, right? But he only comes out on Main Street, but he only comes to that one area right there, and you can't move or else you lose your spot for boot to you. So he, I love the costumes of all the dancers. I think it looks great. But Max comes out, dances for like a minute, and then leaves. So I would say, I don't know, maybe 400 people get to enjoy him actually dancing out of the thousands of people here. So if you want to visit Max, I would suggest standing right there. It's finally happened, baby, after so many years.
have missed that show so much. That's the whole reason you come here is for that parade. 10 out of 10, all the performers, you did great as always. Oh, okay, now it's time to watch the stage show. All right, so the trick is you gotta do fireworks and then you watch Boo Do You and then you do um, the state, the Hocus Pocus stage show. That's the best order to make the you know most out of your time here. All right, this is what the crowd level looks like <laughs> for the stage show right now. This performance of Hocus Pocus Villain Spectacular to be delayed. Once again, due to inclement weather, we must delay this presentation of Hocus Pocus Villain Spectacular. But fear not. Something magical shall still happen here tonight. Now, prepare thyself for a spellbinding treat. It's been a couple years, but I feel like that was a quarter of the show. I, am I imagining something? We're trying to head out now. Trying to deal with these crowds. Yeah. This feels like we're entering into a scare zone or something. Yeah. What is going on? It always feels like apocalyptic nightmare trying to get out of here because there's all these crowds and everything. My tip is don't go to the TTC monorail because that line is always too long. Go to the resorts one. It's always a little shorter and it stops by the TTC. Now the reason there's such a backup while people are trying to exit is they're handing out little posters. Okay. So everybody's going to go to this side. This side is shorter and stops by the TTC. Right. Just like that, off the monorail, quick and easy. How does this have any machine at Disney? Is it a Peter approved? No, there's Coke no Coke Zero. Zero. What is up with Disney and Coke Zero? They've like removed Coke Zero from the card. The only place you can get Coke Zero is like at like the fountains. People like Coke Zero more than Diet Coke. So over here, Peter's upset that they have Diet Coke, but they don't have Coke Zero here. Peter, there actually is a uh, Coke Zero spot right here. Are you kidding me? There, potential Coke Zero. No, spot. I'm not falling for that. How does this work? <laughs> I don't think he's ready. <laughs> Push the wrong one. He pushed Diet Coke, but it gave you a normal Coke, and I saw it in the. Silent night. All right, that's good enough. Let's go. It's not good. <laughs> the Coke saga continues. The disappointment in your face. I'm sorry. So for... Here's a Coke for you. Ooh. Wasn't there like a whole ad campaign about sharing Coke? We walk to the other side of TTC again. It was like one in the morning. Peter needs his Coke. So there's two chances for you to get a Diet Coke. Oh. I picked this one because it has like it looks a little bit colder than that one. <laughs> What'd you get? What'd you get? It's Russian roulette right now. What type of Coke did you get? I've earned myself a Diet Coke. I've earned these zero calories. It's worth it. Okay guys, we are back at home. Mickey's Not So Scary was kind of a hot mess this year. It was it was kind of a disaster, but it's not Disney's fault, if that makes sense, right? It's the weather. I do not suggest coming to this Halloween party in August. I just went the first day right to cover it for you guys, and when September, October start, it's just madness with covering other Halloween content at theme park. I tried to go pretty early on for the event. They raised the prices for the tickets this year, but did they really add anything? No, it was pretty much a copy and paste of what it was before 2020, which, is a good thing and a bad thing, right? The only thing that they honestly added was Max. He replaced Judy Hopps coming down the street for the Boo You Parade, but he only showed up to that one spot on Main Street, so Disney's advertisement of like, ooh, Max is coming this power line and start big new thing. It's kind of a gimmick and a joke. That was like, honestly, the only new thing. Food, really good. Really enjoyed the food, surprisingly, right? Merchandise, I loved all the merchandise, except I didn't get to see the Boo To You merchandise because I was gonna have to wait in line for like an hour just to see it. I loved all the new Halloween merch and I thought Disney did a great job. Uh, when you're exiting, they give you a little poster. It says Walt Disney World 50 and it's, you know, kind of like the castle show and everything. Now, the reason it was kind of a disaster isn't Disney's fault, right? It rained, it's Orlando. Felt like it was 100 something degrees. We were all literally dying to death in our costumes and dealing with the crowds and everything but hey that's what you sign up for when you come to Disney in August and then the storms the storms canceled the outside dance parties canceled all the stage shows the stage show oh, only a couple of minutes long it was like hey we're here our final song and then we're goodbye so all the big show didn't even happen the headless horseman didn't run down not for booty you I'm guessing because of you know the rain and the concrete and everything they don't want the horse slipping I don't suggest coming to not so scary in August because the weather is just too unpredictable I'm happy that it didn't get budget cut it. With so many of these events and stuff that Disney has brought back, they get slashed in half and they're shell of themselves. So this was the pretty much the exact same party as it was in 2019 when I went. So therefore, 
I'm happy, right? I'm happy something stayed the same for once and it was still enjoyable. Now, not so scary as an after hours Halloween party. Where does it stack up? Now, I went to Oogie Boogie Bash in Disneyland. That video will be coming out in a couple weeks. That is one of the best things I have ever done on Disney property. 10 out of 10, a masterpiece. And it makes Not So Scary look like this great value budget brand knockoff. Not So Scary, now when I go to it, I'm just like ashamed of what is offered and how it's run. Because when you go to Oogie Boogie Bash, there's actually special characters, everything is efficient, there's great shows, there's great parades, it's, it's amazing. So I suggest if you're going to a Disney Halloween party, book a plane ticket, go to Disneyland, go to Oogie Boogie Bash because that is 10 times better than Not So Scary. If you are here and you are local, go to Not So Scary. It's kind of, you know, the same thing. That's my hot take on the whole situation. I would just kind of wait till a couple months later where the weather isn't as bad. One of the other things was I didn't see the Cadaver Dans. I didn't see them on the map. And the equity performers who are normally outside Mansion are inside the queue. I didn't want to invest an hour of my time to go see the equity performers before they would just have to exit. You go up, say hi, see their little roast of people walking by. And you know, it was a quick fun five minutes. I don't want to invest an hour into going to do the exact same Haunted Mansion, right? Because your time is so precious for these after hours events. I did really enjoy that Zombies Dance Party, right? Alice and I really enjoy those films, right? They're kind of cheesy and corny, but it's like, yeah, Disney Channel original music. And they brought in a lot of the choreography and it felt very in-universe with those movies. One of the best things about going to Mickey's Not So Scary is the cast. So the cast, thank you so much for making Not So Scary what it was. It finally felt, you know, like back to normal because you guys are so bright and bubbly. Shout out to all the amazing cast members who worked on opening night of Mickey's Not So Scary. Guys, let me know down in the comments, what did you think of Not So Scary this year? If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button join the family I love the family because I'm gonna keep you up to date on all things Disney and spooky and scary over the next couple months I guess I love you all please stay safe and I'll see y'all very soon it's worth it all right for $30 they have a knockoff little boo hat